Hey you guys, it's your girl Keisha from Afro Langs. Once again, I do apologize. It's been quite a while since I made a video for you guys and more as well. We've just been trying to get some stuff out for you in terms of products, in terms of more videos, promotional stuff as well. So thank you so much again to all our subscribers. We love you guys so much and we appreciate very much your support. Now, I found um, that we've been getting a lot of questions concerning what products Marilyn uses and what products I use as well. So I just wanted to do a very brief video showing you guys what I use. So what I usually use is, it's the same thing. It's called Diva Curl. Um, let me show you guys this one. It's a no lather shampoo or a poo, no poo. So basically what that means, it doesn't lather. So the girls or the ladies that want that lathering, cleansing feeling, you're not gonna get it from this. It does not give you that lather. However, it does give you those cleansing properties that sh that essentially that's the purpose of the shampoo, right? And it also re-moisturizes your hair. Sometimes when you shampoo, you feel that strippy feeling. That doesn't do that at all. Your hair feels really good, supple, and clean at the same time. So, um, where you can get this would be for the ladies in Toronto um, in the GTA cosmetic world has it or a professional beauty supply store uh, for the ladies overseas or in um, the US I'm pretty sure if you look online you can find this product it's not hard to find it's quite popular and it will direct you to the best store around you um, <coughs> now that being said, I do have a clarifier that I use from Afro Langs. I don't have it here, but usually it's a black soap that I use just to clarify my hair or the products that we have um, that we're working on right now. I use that as a cleansing shampoo, but I really use it only if I feel like I have a lot of buildup. That's when I'll use it. If not, if my hair is just a little, you know, two weeks old or whatever, I'll just do two shampoos with this and my hair is good to go it's amazing now after that my staple deep conditioner as you guys know i love this stuff oh is this it no this is the leave-in this is a really good leave-in too though but this is this is what i wanted to show you guys this stuff is amazing this is 50 50 binds hair moisturizer this oh every person honestly that i refer to get this product loves it it's amazing on our hair um Mind you, there are two things from Giovanni that are called 50-50, so when you turn to the back, look for the leaf that's on the very end, and that will let you know that it's the most moisturizing one, and it will also let you know that it's a deep conditioner as well. So this right here, and then I use um, Aubrey. These lines I stick with, they work for me, and I love them. So Aubrey Honeysuckle. Rose Moisturizing Conditioner. This stuff is amazing as well. You get that nice, supple, lustrous feel when you use these products. So, and all that's what I love, or that's what I like to feel. As soon as I apply it, I don't just feel like a silicone. I feel like my hair is actually soaking in the product and really getting softened by it. So, those two, amazing. Now, for this, like I showed you guys before, this is the direct leave-in from Giovanni, of course. Um, again, the leaf is on the second one. <clears throat> Let's you know that's the leave-in conditioner. This stuff, every again, every single person I tell to get this, amazing. This does wonders on our hair. 4A, 4B, 4C, 3C, don't matter. This stuff is amazing. Works amazingly. Now, <clears throat> I also have those products that I use um, when I'm out of my staple products or when you know when your hair is dirty and you don't want to use your good stuff because it's running low or you don't have it, you don't want to spend your money, this is the stuff I use, okay? So this is the olive oil. Um, it's all right. It does what it needs to do up until I need to wash my hair or when I need to restock on my other products. Um, it's not my favorite because it does have petroleum and other ingredients in here that I don't quite agree with but in all it does the job and I know some ladies who use this and it works well so I guess also it depends on your hair type so in all this is one of my products that I use when my hair is out and when my hair is in braids I use this infusion 23 
Now I just don't use it straight. I do add glycerin to it as well as castor oil. I just find when it's on its own, it doesn't do the job. My hair doesn't feel great. So you have the option of using this with um, vegetable glycerin and castor oil. Or, which is one that I don't have, is Better Braid Spray. That stuff is great. It nicely softens your hair. It feels amazing. Or you can use Better Braid uh, Spray. <laughs> Better Braid Spray. For both items, I would still add um, an oil, extra, oil, extra virgin olive oil, castor oil, avocado oil, whatever natural oil you have. Just add a little bit to it so you can have that kind of lubrication. Okay, so what else do I use? Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't it doesn't have a label or anything, but this is the Afro Lengths Oil. Coming to you guys. I know I keep saying that, but it's coming. It's coming. This stuff is great. Um, I'm not even being biased. It works amazingly in terms of softening the hair, especially after we apply our leave-in conditioner this is what i use mari uses a different one um and she sometimes uses this too um we follow with this oil it's amazing it's amazing sealant it softens the hair great and you know i'm gonna push it because i'm promoting it and etc coming to you guys soon but anyway no it's a very good oil it has a lot of great stuff in it such as amla shikaki coconut oil castor oil all those nice rich things that help um with preserving your hair now that being said, I do have some things here that I wanted to show you guys in terms of tools that I use for my hair. Now when my hair is out, I rarely comb it. Um, I just usually just finger comb with my, you know, fingers, pat it up and I leave it be. If I need to detangle it, I'll use this. Now, I this is my staple pick. I want to have this forever because it's so soft. Um, it doesn't rip my hair out at all like some picks do. Um, it's amazing. I just I love this pick. I will I would not trade this for anything. Um, then you have your staple wide tooth comb here. That is the common thing. Ends to root, just comb through your hair. Um, this is great too. But I will note to the ladies that do get these combs, this one's the sturdy one. This is very sturdy. It's not the flimsy one. Do not get the flimsy one. I find that it rips the hair. A bit too much and it doesn't detangle the hair properly so at any rate if you're getting the white teeth comb just make sure it's a uh, you hear that it's not flimsy it's a nice thick comb so again I hope this was helpful for you guys this is just a brief overview of the products I use I do have a lot because I got a sample it to show you guys but I don't have all the stuff that I ha um, that I need to have here so just note these are the products that I use I also use shea butter castor oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, all those nice natural essential oils, preservants that help with retaining length, um, lubricating the hair, moisturizing the hair, and etc. So I hope this was informative and as always we look forward to making more videos for you guys. Deuces!